Excuse me. You're so rude. Anywho, do a little quick video on the Great Spiritual Awakening. That's been going on forever that um, I didn't really know about, but here I am. Truth looks like, because I am, I grew up Christian and um, Jesus Christ out on the cross for our sins. Hey buddy, thank you so much. But um, yeah, it looks like it looks like these religions have really, really been lying to keep everybody fighting and to keep everybody blind. So all of these law of one people, in a nutshell, I feel like a grand, hey, this actually happens to people. Um, the things that these people over here are talking about, uh, they're not wrong. I remember way too much as well. And over there is where to look for some more information, but... Who is God? Source. Source God. We all started so long ago as a collective conscious. And where do we find God is literally inside of us. We find God when we do the shadow work inside of our minds and understand that all of these religions who are propping up creator gods are keeping us distracted from the truth that we are all a part of God and we are never going to find him in a church. What is the devil? Uh, the devil is factions of these creator gods like Baal, like Pan out here now, hiding behind this name. Who is Lucifer? Lucifer, these Bible stories, I can't believe what happened to that Bible. I can't believe how much this cabal and these, oh, the Illuminati guys is so bad. It's so dangerous. They've literally lied so bad. Lucifer is not some fallen angel. It's a faction of extraterrestrials called Luciferians. Like with Satan here. Satan is a faction called Satanes. They are all of extraterrestrial origin. All of them. Remember Toth? Yeah, well, if you would take Toth and some of these other depictions of gods and you would stick them next to what biblically accurate angels look like, they all look extraterrestrial. Yeah, that's pretty much what the true truth looks like. And when you bring up spirituality, they want to call you crazy. When they bring up the fact that we're getting bombed by UFOs, people are coming up missing. People have been coming up missing for years. Anybody, did you ever hear of um, Skinwalker Ranch? I think it's in Utah. Are you kidding me? There is so much information on Skinwalker Ranch alone. Let alone when you Google the blip maps, all of the places around the world where ET noises and ET phenomenons have been calculated and marked on maps. Can't keep pretending like they're not there. They're literally everywhere. Some of them are working for the devil. Some of them are working for God's source, except we're getting bombed with the bad ones right now, because look what's happening. Throgs of people who cannot come down from their religious beliefs 
and look around and understand that no matter what your religious beliefs, they're giving no answers to what the hell is going on in this world. And until you start looking into law of one and cosmic things, everything's just going to keep on not making sense. Now, it's really sad, this whole everything surrounding Jesus Christ. And general consensus is that Jesus Christ is a man who was born from two Melchizedek starseed parents um, of normal means. And he is a Melchizedek starseed and a really powerful force for light. And he was here trying to teach ascension and trying to teach people how to actually escape this hellhole that is earth and go to where you think heaven is. People who want to go to heaven well, that looks like a whole ascension process. It really looks like he's not waiting at some pearly gates to judge you for your sins. And I think that everybody should be really excited about that. Because I see some serious fucking sinners out here hiding behind the fact that they believe all these things and they think that that makes them safe. I got into it with my ex because I start going through this spiritual stuff and I... I kept it pretty quiet, but, you know, every once in a while, I would just say I'm, you know, I'm having some, some, you know, hard God hitting moments in my life. I'm having a lot of things go on with me. And as soon as I would mention God, he would start flipping out and getting really pissed and yelling at me because I was preaching at him. But, um, he thinks he's safe and going to heaven because when he was young, his Catholic mom had him baptized. But he's a dark entity and doesn't know it. This shit is literally so dangerous. People running around here thinking that they're safe because they've been baptized. Or they're safe because they believe this. But yet they clearly don't because they wouldn't be doing the shit in the dark that they do in the dark if they really had Jesus Christ in their hearts like they think they do. Now, a lot of people call Jesus Jeshua 12. Jeshua 12. It's 12 because he activated 12 strands of DNA and actually became this 48 strand magnificent creature out here dropping light codes and escaping through the Ark of the Covenant and doing all of these things. But Jeshua 12 is who the spiritual community talks most, ab most about because it was his ascension and his work that has been overshadowed here by lies. Like the Adam and Eve thing. That looks like, with all due respect, that looks like a huge lie. And me growing up, that was probably the one where I'm just like, Okay, God made Eve off of a rib bone from Adam, and it was Eve's fault. She fell for the serpent's shit and bit the apple. No, looks like Eden wasn't a garden. It was a continent on somewhere, some other place. Now... If you research this, the man who ended up on the cross that we consider Jesus did some 
did some good work there. Looked like he was taking one for the team, I guess, to protect Jeshua 12. And there was a Jeshua 9, too. Jeshua 9 was false. And so was the, the one who got put up on the cross. Now, there's a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of people talking about these things, and it shouldn't be taken with offense. It should be taken with a huh. You know what? If this is how bad we've been lied to, if this is how bad these things have lied to us, that they've told us all that we are terrible creatures whose sins needed dying for, and they brutalized Jesus Christ. For us and our sins, but the world looks like this, and that's not what happened. Who would not be investigating this shit? Especially at a time like this. Everybody's running around here freaking out because it's kind of right on time for the biblical apocalypse yeah i mean yeah we're all definitely living literally through it and most people don't even freaking know literally keep ignoring it yes yes we're definitely in the middle of the biblical apocalypse right now guys and if you made it this far without realizing that that's great it's time to wake up though and turn back to god you cannot turn back to God, source, without going through your own mind and going through your own heart and seeing what the hell these people have done. We've all been living over and over again, and you can't remember when you're born here. You literally cannot remember. And you're stuck for as long as it takes for you to come down off your high horse and fact check all this. You can't descend. You can't, you can't get away from this place. They say we live 144 lifetimes in a one-time cycle here. And, and a lot of people have the number 1,728. 1,728 different lives we are all simultaneously living right now at the same exact time throughout this multiverse. Why the hell isn't this getting taken seriously? I mean... It's wild. It's literally wild. Do you know what a relief this was for me? To be able to look and go, oh my, we are not terrible trash. Us people were not scum. We were actually made in the image of God, which is source and it's androgynous. It's not, God's not a man. God's not a man. I'm sorry. But the God having one son who got killed for our sins because we're terrible people. Guys, it gets busted up every time. These people are out here talking about this shit. And this shit gets busted up. This shit gets myth busted. And what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to wake up. And remember who the hell we are. And remember, we are all part of God. And praising anything, any creator God, any single thing that these churches are telling you that you got to praise, they're lying. They are lying. And it's really sad. These Roman Catholics, I, I mean... I can't even. I can't even with Rome. It makes me sick. This is incredibly important. And there is so much information out there. And if you don't want to talk about it, don't talk about it. You should definitely be looking into it, though. And then watch what happens as soon as you say, oh, I'm kind of getting into spirituality or... Yeah, you know, I started watching Gaia. It's starting to make some of these extraterrestrials make sense. Extraterrestrials make sense. And, you know, going back throughout the dawn of time, realizing 
how much farther back we actually go, how much ET intervention there was with all of these ancient civilizations. Yeah, it looks like literally it is us and extraterrestrials out there. But darkness only goes up to the dimension 11.5. And then the 12th through the 15th dimensions look like pure light, pure good. This is where Ascended Masters come into play. This is where the Lear and High Council and Syrian Council and this stuff makes all of the bullshit that they put in movies make sense. They're literally showing us the truth in these movies. I'm pretty sure Star Wars is about the Orion Wars. I'm not sure. I never got to Star Wars. I know a lot of people who were in Star Wars who were probably freaking star seeds. Though... But yeah, 